what's up guys my patio core living patio swing came in today i'm just gonna do a quick assembly and just kind of throwing it together video quick unboxing and i'll show you guys what it all comes with and how to put it together And now that I got everything unpackaged, I just kind of went through and double checked, made sure I had all of this stuff that is drawn here, including all of the nuts and the bolts. Did a quick verification, making sure nothing is missing and that way we can proceed. So the first thing that I did was just laid out the bars. They are numbered one. Um, we need two on each end. And I did mine one bending one way and the other bending the other. We also need the piece labeled number three, which is the big crossbar that goes all the way through. We'll be connecting those. And then there are the four bolts that are like the longest ones. Those are the ones we will be using, two on each side. You will also need four washers, four nuts, and then you will need this assembly tool. Um, if you have your own ratchet set, um, it is a 13 millimeter that we'll be using. And then there's the four caps on the very end that we will just use to tighten up once we have everything together. Now I'll be moving on to step two, that is getting this little support piece. We will be screwing it into these two um, nuts right here. We'll screw them into there. And then just make sure you got both your pieces set up in the same orientation so the design is the same. We will need, there's eight of these shorter screws. We will need four of them per side with four washers. And we will need the Allen wrench to um, put them in. And if you tighten these top screws at the very top, or these bolts, we will need to loosen them a little bit, just that, so that way it's easier to get this piece in, this little crossbar piece in. If it's too tight, it'll be a little bit tough and challenging to um, get it into position. So if you need to loosen it a little bit, go ahead and loosen it up, and then retighten it once it's all put into place. And now I'm gonna be starting on the cover next after I got my A-frame up. We will need pieces that are labeled nine, 10 for this bar. We'd get two of the nines, one on each end, uh, the two of the tens, one here, one there, one for each end, the 11, piece labeled 11, 12, and then we will need the Allen wrench to put it together. And we will need the two screws. These are the two shorter ones. They got thread all the way. We'll need these washers as well to get it on and we will need our Allen wrench to put it all together. So our next task is gonna be hanging up the cover and this is the mounting hardware that we're gonna need we're gonna need these two plastic pieces these nuts with the stars on them and then these two bolts the ones that have the square heads on the end we will use those to fasten everything together um, we will be interweaving it over here into this piece and it will also fit in with the piece that is on the cover that we have our cover on we will be moving down to the seat to assemble the seat we will need the seat itself we will need the side pieces labeled 8l and 8r as we go over here we will see that it is for 8l for the side as if you were sitting in the seat this will be the left sided rail if you don't have the labeling on there we're going to go ahead and just make sure that this goes to the outside portion 
to the outside of the swing should have a lock or a screwed threaded piece on the outside as well. As far as hardware goes, for the lower portion, we will need this bigger bolt um, with the lock nut and a larger washer. And on the top, we will need a, the, a bolt. This can be a thinner diameter one, smaller diameter, a washer, lock nut, and then that black spacer. Of the two varieties of black spacers, this will be the smaller one. So let's go ahead, put this together, and see what it looks like. So now I have the bench together. Everything is just on there loosely. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that on this upper portion, we do have the bolt and that black washer, the smaller one of the two options, does go in between the post and the seat. And then there's a washer and a lock nut on the back end. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and tighten up all the bolts on this just to tighten everything up. So now that we have our seat assembled, we will be moving on to the holding rods on the end. And we will need the piece that is labeled seven, which is just a shorter straight one. We need this piece here. It has the has a little tab on the end, um, this longer piece. We will need two of these eye bolts, and then we need two washers and two lock nuts. We will also be needing the, there's two remaining bolts. We will need both of those, and then the larger of the spacers. So let's go ahead and put this together. Now that we have our hanging rods in place, what we're gonna to wanna to do next is pull out the hook that looks like this. And as you're, we're gonna be just going ahead and hooking these two bottom ones on first, and then sliding over and hooking the top one on um, onto the end piece here. And at this point, if you haven't gotten help already, it might be beneficial to get someone to help hang the swing. It is a little bit heavier and might be a little more cumbersome to get up and into place. Now that the swing is hanging, the next thing to do is put in your padding. 